hello there. This is Dr. Morse, and today we are going to be talking about lesson number 41 out of the Berkeley Music Theory Book 2. And let me share my screen real quick. Okay, so I didn't exactly like how they were teaching it in the book, so I made you my own little worksheet here. Um, hopefully you can see that. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about chord symbols for the triads we know, okay? And the triads we know are major, minor, augmented, and diminished. Okay, so the first thing you need to know is there are three different systems for labeling that we'll talk about in this class, okay? And we're going to use two of them pretty heavily, and the other one we're not going to use at all, but you need to be familiar about it in case you see it, okay? Uh, the one we're going to use in this class is called the short system, okay? The short system for labeling chords. And I have written out four different chords here. You'll see I've got a C major chord, an F minor chord, a G augmented chord, and a B diminished chord, okay? So there's three ways of writing it out. Let's talk about the short way of writing it out. So if I give you the chord, I give you the three notes, okay? C, E, G, you can either write it as a capital C or a capital C with a big M, okay? So the one I prefer to see, okay, and the one we will use is the first one. So big C means, that would be uppercase C means major, C major, okay? Uh, in the, the next one you see that we have an F minor chord. F minor, uh, on minor chords I use the lowercase, okay? So you'll see just a lowercase f, you'll see a lowercase f plus a lowercase m for minor, and sometimes you will see an uppercase f with a minus sign, okay? You'll see that a little bit more in jazz and pop notation, okay? So the third one you're gonna, we're gonna look at here, it's a G augmented chord, so a major third and a major third, and we see that as a big G, okay, with a plus sign, okay? Big G and a plus sign for augmented. There really is no other way to write it. And then our final one for diminished chords, I, I picked the B because it doesn't have any accidentals or any uh, sharps or flat signs. Uh, and you will see that with a either a lowercase B, which is what I prefer, or an uppercase B, and it has a little degree sign, okay? So a little degree sign. I also could use a little lowercase o for that degree sign, okay? Um, because sometimes you have to hunt for that sign. So a lowercase o, so a lowercase b and a lowercase o would also tell me diminished, okay? Just a little bit lower, but I know what you're talking about if you're typing, okay? So that is what we call short notation. That is used for theory class, and we'll use that sometimes in pop and jazz notation, sometimes. The long, we're not gonna spend too much time on. That's the next line here. Uh, you see C mage, okay? C and then M-A-G, M-A-J, excuse me. That would be C major, F minor, M-I-N, G aug, okay, for augmented, G augmented, and B, Dim. Okay, so it's always a big uppercase letter and then a lowercase abbreviation pretty much. Mage, min, og, and dim. Okay, that you're going to see in a modern notation, like pop notation. Pop, if you see a pop song or a jazz song or something, you will see that. Okay, the last one is we're going to use a lot, but not yet, okay? And the reason I'm introducing it to you is because you're going to see it shortly, okay? Now, I'm going to explain it this way. There's that word functional again. Remember I said the word functional was going to be a very, very, very important word in this class, okay? Functional means it's part of something else. It is an extension of something else. It's a part of something else, okay? Uh, all of those are correct. So... The best way to maybe explain this to you is by using a sentence, okay? So let's say um, the word, how about the trombone sounds good, 
okay? So if you were thinking of short notation, you would be just analyzing the chord itself, like the word trombone. It starts with a T. It ends with an E, okay? It ends with a silent E, okay? It has a B in it, okay? Those are all short notation ways of thinking about the word, okay? Doesn't matter what the rest of the sentence is, it's taking the word in isolation, just like we're taking the chord in isolation, okay? So the next one is functional. So functional in that sentence, the trombone sounds good, the word trombone functions as a noun in the sentence. The function of the word sounds is a verb, okay? And an uh, good, okay? All of these uh, function as different parts of a sentence, okay? So what we've got here is we're talking about how each functions. So you'll see a C major chord. So if C major is the most important chord, also called the tonic chord, it's gonna have a Roman numeral one. That's a Roman numeral one, not an I, okay? There is no I letter, okay? I, and then a lowercase, get used to seeing those two, that's a lowercase Roman numeral I, an I with a plus and an I with a degree sign, okay? So that's assuming that the root note here is the most important. Again, we're gonna talk about this when we get to functional harmony. I just wanted to introduce it to you. So get used to writing short notation here, which is what we're gonna be doing for our homework. Remember, big, a big letter, a small letter, a big letter for major, a small letter for minor, a big letter plus a plus sign for augmented, and a little letter plus a degree or a lowercase o for uh, diminished, okay? So your homework right here. I hope you can read this. Um, I will make some copies and, 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 or you can print it off. I'll, I'll put the copies outside my office. Okay, so for instance, in number one, there's eight of them. You're gonna spell the following chords using short notation which means the first one is D major. Spell me a D major chord, okay? That should get you there. There is a, a treble or a bass clef at the uh, halfway through that, so don't let that throw you, okay? Now, here's the labeling part. Number two, you're gonna write the short chord symbol for each chord, okay? So the first one I will do for you, it is an A, C sharp, E in the key of well, A, C sharp, E, let's not talk about in the key of, that's functional. But A, C sharp, E in isolation is an A major chord, so you'll put a capital A, okay? Then if it was an A minor chord, you put a lowercase a. If it was an A, a augmented chord, you would put an A with, a, a uppercase A with a plus. If it was a diminished chord, you put a lowercase a with a degree sign or a lowercase o, okay? Or either one of those will tell me what you want. Okay, so do number one and two out of this one and then watch uh, the demonstration coming up and then obviously you've got the next tutorial and the next demonstration after that too. So thank you. Have a good day.